Things can get pretty cumbersome quickly in HTML. Let's assume we have a div with a class of box and inside we have a URL with some a list item and inside that list item we have another div class wrapper and inside we have h2 title and a paragraph tag you'll see that it writes a lot of html and you have to close the div close the url jade assumes that everything you open will be closed now if i want to have a paragraph tag on the same level then the ul i'll just go to the same indentation level and have my paragraph here just like that that works one more thing we want to cover here oh by the way this is a jade comment so it doesn't compile to html if you want a html comment that prints out in the html file just remove the little dash and have slash slash and now this comment will be showing in html so again let's say i have my good old friend the div with the class of box if i want to pass some attributes inside there i can open and close parentheses and start putting things like data name equals box you comma separate the attributes id you can pass an id this way by the way as well my box you'll have these attributes inside the html element now if you have many of them a good way to keep it clean is to put them one per line without the commas I'll leave you with one last tip. I always wrote div.box, but actually if you just type .box, Jade will by default use a div element and apply that class to it. There you go. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.